I recently did my five black metal riffs for beginners video, which went down pretty well. So I thought I would do a video on death metal riffs for beginners. And then I thought, why stop at five? What's better than five? Six, so here's six. Um, to record this video, I used my PRS S2 Standard 22, which is this wonderful looking thing. Uh, all of the guitars are using Bias Effects 2, and I'll show you a screenshot now of what settings I had on it. Each of these riffs I've played in standard tuning, and anyone who knows these songs knows that none of these are in standard tuning, they're all tuned differently. So alongside each riff, as I tell you who the riff is by, what the riff is, I'll also put the tuning. So if you want to go and play along to the original, you just need to retune your guitar. So um, that's it really. Have a uh, little play along and see you later. So we're going to start with Bolt Thrower Cenotaph. So here's the riff. <laughs> So we are playing only two chords here. So the first one is an open bottom string power chord and we're going to palm mute on the bridge. And then we're going to play the first fret on the A string as a power chord. So that's first fret on the A, third fret on the D. Now what I would recommend here is use your middle finger for this open power chord. And the reason I say that is so that then you can just change to that. If you're using this finger, your first finger, you have to change position to move. So we're going to play that open bottom string. And that power chord we play 16 times. And then we're going to play that first fret power chord on the A string and as I say try and use your middle finger for that second fret on the A in that open bottom string power chord And when you're playing that first fret on the A, make sure you're killing that bottom string so you're not getting any of, the, any of those sort of sounds. Now, what I, the way I do that is my first finger here, the tip of that first finger is against that, that bottom string so it kills it. Okay, and there are different ways you can do that, um, but that's how I would recommend doing it. You can use your palm on this hand and just have it touching that string, but I wouldn't go with that. I would use the tip of this finger here just to kill that bottom string. So even if you accidentally hit that note, it doesn't ring out. So the last thing I'll say on this riff, I say play that open bottom string muted power chord 16 times, but that's only on the first time. All of the other times, because you're playing this note, which lasts two beats, you only play the other ones 14 times. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So next up, we have Corporal Jigsaw Quandary by Carcass, and it goes like this. So again, we're going to start with an open bottom string power chord. 
Then we're going to play that bottom string muted nine times. First fret open string, sorry, first fret on the bottom string power chord. And then the open again. And then play that open string nine times again. So to begin to start with that again, so. So that's open and then open muted nine times. First fret and then open muted nine times. Back onto the first fret power chord, then up to fret four on the bottom string and play that note muted nine times. Then five and then up to fret eight. So let's do that slowly. And then play that one nine times. And then back down to one. And that's the beginning of the riff again, so. So things to make sure you're doing here, make sure that you are only muting when you're supposed to be. So for the notes that are ringing out, that you're not muting those. And another little tip for you here is when you're muting these notes to make them sound clearer, don't play the whole power chord just play that single note and it sounds a bit clearer so so there you'll notice I'm just playing that single note and again that single note so that's the next one so again it's muted on the open and you're playing that nine times muted on the open nine times muted on the four play that nine times and muted on the eight and play that nine times next up we have living monstrosity by death and it goes like this So what we've got here is a combination of muted fast picking and just held single power chords. So it's all on the bottom two strings again, and we're gonna start with a power chord on the fifth fret, and we're gonna play just that note here, so not the whole power chord, so just the fifth fret on the bottom string. And we're gonna play that four times, and that's gonna be muted. And then the power chord. Okay, then we're going to do the same pattern on fret four. Then we do the same pattern on fret eight. And then the same pattern on fret seven. So put those together. Now, just like in the last riff, it will sound clearer if you only pick when, when you're doing the muting, if you only pick on the single string. So a good way of doing this is to lead each change just with the first finger. So you notice there, when I moved down to the fourth fret, I took my third finger off and I'm only bringing it back down for that um, chord. So I'm really exaggerating it there, so. Okay, so try and take that finger off when you're doing the change. And 
and do it nice and slowly until you can build up the speed. Next up we have Rotting Ways by Obituary and it goes like this. So we are starting with an open bottom string power chord and then going to a first fret on the bottom string power chord. Then we're going to mute on the bridge and we're going to play fret one eight times, sorry not fret one, open bottom string eight times then to fret one eight times. Then. We're going to use our little finger here on the fourth fret of the A string, four to, uh, eight times, and then third finger on the third fret of the A string, eight times, and then repeat that pattern. So open bottom string, first fret power chord bottom string, then pick open bottom string eight times, first fret eight times. Little finger on the fourth of the A eight times, and third fret on the A eight times. Now, what you'll notice on that third fret there, as you're fin you should be finishing on an upstroke, and then that allows you to then come in with the downstroke for the power chord. So when you're doing this alternate picking, make sure you are doing down, up, down, up. And then that down, up, down, up will allow you to move smoothly onto the next note. So one more time, open bottom string power chord to the first fret on the bottom string. Then we're going to play eight times on the open bottom string, eight times on the first fret. Eight times on the fourth fret of the A, eight times on the third fret of the A. And on your last upstroke on that A string, exaggerate it a bit so that your palm or so that your wrist comes up ready for that downstroke on the bottom string power chord. Now if you want to carry the riff on um, into the next section, it does carry on with just playing those four notes repeatedly. So that's the open bottom string, first fret on the bottom string, fourth fret on the A, third fret on the A, and you're going to play each one of those notes eight times and just rotate through that pattern. Next we have Gorefest Reality When You Die and it goes like this. So it starts off with an open bottom string muted. Then we're going to play on the A string, a power chord, from fret 7 to 6. Then we're going to mute that bottom string again, open. Then we're going to play on the A string, a power chord on fret 9 down to 6, and then mute that open bottom string again. So, then power chord on the A string, fret 4 up to fret 7. Then we're going to mute that bottom string twice. 
then three times, then six. So slowly. And again, open bottom string muted, seven to six on the A string. Mute the open bottom string. Nine down to six on the A string. Mute the bottom string. And then four up to seven on the A string. Then twice on the bottom string. Three times on the bottom string. And then six times. So let's do the whole thing slowly. And last but not least, we have Day of Suffering by Morbid Angel. The riff goes like this. So this one uses all power chords. So we're gonna start on the A string, fret two, and that is not muted. Then coming down to the bottom strings and we're going to mute on the bridge and we're going to play three, two, five, two, three, two. So. And again, so that's two on the A and that's not muted. Then we're going to mute the bridge and we're going to play on the bottom string three, two, five, two, three, two. And we're gonna play that with a lot of aggression in the right hand. And we do that one more time. So on the A string, fret two, not muted. Then onto the bottom string, three, two, five, two, three, two. And then back to the A string. 